Hello and welcome to another Explorer Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Jeskai Ascendancy combo deck and there's a number of ways to build around this 3 mana enchantment saying whenever we cast a non-creature spell we get to give our creatures plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn and untap them and we also may draw a card if we do discard a card. You might be used to seeing a 4 color build where you add green for a mana creature or a way to turn a land into a creature. Ideally those creatures or lands make blue mana so you can then cast a 1 mana cantrip, untap that land or creature to make blue mana again, rinse and repeat while drawing and discarding through the deck, maybe eventually cast a treasure cruise to refuel and in the meantime you're also growing those creatures to then set up a lethal attack. Now the problem there is that we're still missing a few key cards compared to the pioneer version of the deck. We don't have retraction helix which can be an important piece to kind of clear a path for those creatures to attack for lethal. Sylvan Carotid can also be a nice tool as a hexproof creature that's harder for the opponent to interact with. That can also make blue mana so we can kind of combo off. But I ended up going for a slightly different build which tries to go infinite with Emery and two copies of Mox Amber. Emery getting a discount for each artifact we control. We only have Eight artifacts total with Mox Amber and Portable Hole. Can occasionally also make tokens with Sahili, which can discount Emery, but for the most part, it's going to cost us two mana to deploy. Then it enters milling four cards, so it can hopefully mill a copy of Mox Amber, and then Emery can tap to get back an artifact from our graveyard that we get to cast this turn. So if we get to cast a free Mox Amber with Jeskai Ascendancy on the battlefield, we'll get to untap Emery, give it plus one plus one, and we also get to draw and discard. So that way, we get to make infinite blue mana and also infinitely draw through our deck to find whatever missing pieces we need to close out the game. And then eventually we want to get Sahili in play, which we can cast using the blue mana. Now Mox Amber also makes a red mana, thanks to our blue-red Planeswalker. In the meantime, we're making a 1-1 servo token whenever we cast Mox Amber out of the graveyard, and also get to pump up those servo tokens. And then eventually we'll draw into our Bitter Reunion, which can be sacrificed to give our team haste, and then we get to attack with some infinitely large servo tokens tokens since we can also decline to draw with a Jeskai Ascendancy. So once we have all the pieces we need we can just keep looping Mox Amber while growing the team and then attack with infinitely large servo tokens with haste. So that's our game plan. How do we get there? Of course we do need lots of cantrips to help find these missing pieces and that's where Consider, Opt and Sleight of Hand come in handy. Can also cast these with a blue mana for Mox Amber after deploying Emery. And then we can also fill the graveyard to set up our treasure crews to draw three. And we're also milling a few cards, not only with Emery, but also with the Archaeologist. So this is great to set up our treasure crews as we'll mill three. And then if we find a non-creature non-land card among those, we get to put it in hand. Otherwise it gets a counter. So this can also help find our Jeskai Ascendancy, Mox Amber, Bitter Union, Sahili. And treasure crews is also quite exciting. And then we also have four copies of Portable Hole for a bit of interaction and as an artifact it can discount Emery and we can also get it back from the graveyard with Emery. So that's our deck basically. In the mana base we also have two copies of Restless Spire which can kind of fill the role of a mana creature in the green builds of Jeskai Ascendancy where we activate it, turn it into a 2-1 creature and then we can tap it for mana. If we have a Jeskai Ascendancy in play we cast a 1 mana cantrip untap our Restless Spire, can make a mana again. So even if we don't have Emery plus Mox Amber to make infinite mana, we can still string together lots of cheap cantrips with Restless Spire plus Jeskai Ascendancy, which can then hopefully sculpt our hand to find an Emery and combo off from there. Or it can also just be an extra creature to grow with the Jeskai Ascendancy and get a nice attack in. And that's also where the Archaeologist can be an extra body. If our opponent has one blocker, we don't have Sahili to make infinite 1-1 uh, one -one servo tokens, then we can still maybe attack with a very large archaeologist and Emery and if our opponent only has one blocker we still get in for a nice chunk of damage. And then the rest of our mana base, just lots of uh, dual lands, even mana confluence for additional fixing. And then Odawara can also maybe be drawn into to remove a blocker or maybe get rid of a key artifact or enchantment that's messing with our combo. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay we're on the draw and uh, we've got Emery missing white mana for portable hull but double opt, so I'll try it. That's a sleight of hand for now. Find probably treasure crews, even though we're not gonna fill the graveyard all that quickly. Yeah, maybe Bitter Union is still better. I can cast it next turn, maybe discarding a portable hole if we're not gonna need it. And 
and then next turn we could cast Emery. Just missing white mana, Jeskai Ascendancy, and then a couple Mox Ambers. Okay, so opponent on green devotion it seems. Play Emery. Mill the Mox Amber, that's perfect. Now Sahili may be under pressure from the opponent's creatures. As they play second troll. But not the most explosive start from Mono Green. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Could play Sahili, get back Mox Amber, play Mox Amber. And then we'll have five cards in Graveyard. If I can consider into a land, we could still Treasure Cruise. And then we'll have three tokens left. I think I would prefer to just uh, draw a few cards this turn instead. So we can maybe go with Archaeologist. Find another Treasure Cruise. And then we can cast it, leaving Mox Amber in the graveyard. Alright, Portable Hole doesn't do anything for me. But we can keep up Consider or cast it now. And we're gonna end up discarding to hand size here. So it's slide of hand. And we're just looking for Jeskai Ascendancy. So I'll just go end of turn. Discard to hand size, which also fuels our treasure cruise. And there's Nykthos, that's scary. So they have eight mana total. And Storm the Festival, so we'll see what they can do. At least Karn is no longer legal, so we don't need to worry about them shutting down Mox Amber with it. But an Ovenwald Oddity can potentially present lethal here. As they can pump up their entire team. We have three toughness. Bonus going for Cavalier instead. If that hits another Nykthos, we're certainly dead. Just a forest, so now they're a little short of Ulvamalt Oddity. Activating, unless they have another Kiora. Another Cavalier. Okay, I mean, this is fine. We're gonna take a beating, but we have a chance of untapping and comboing off. So we can take 12, or I can jump with the Archaeologist in case we need to put a Shock Land into play. And then we'll consider, just need Jeskai Ascendancy. And then another Mox Amber. Okay, so how do we want to proceed? Can start with Opt and then Treasure Cruise. Or we can play Archaeologist, which digs a little bit deeper than our cantrip and also sets up our treasure cruise better. Found the Ascendancy and a Mox Amber, so we should have it here. So play Ascendancy. Get back Mox Amber. And now we have infinite blue mana. Once we play Sahili, also infinite red mana. And then with the Bitter Reunion, we can make all the servo tokens we want, bump them up, and attack. Alright, so just gonna go through the motions, don't even need to draw and discard if we don't want to. Since we have all the pieces in hand. So yeah, seeing kind of mono green devotion adapt to Karn no longer being illegal. And Ulvamalt Oddity is not a bad way to do it, since it can potentially present lethal out of nowhere. Behold, 
So Emery keeps doing the Mox Amber loop, but now we get some more tokens out of it. The bitter reunions on the battlefield, so our opponent knows that they're dead if they piece it together here. But we still have to go through the motions, so want to make sure we don't time out, go through it as quickly as possible. And at this point we don't even need to make mana anymore. Just need one mana for bitter union. So that can speed things up a little bit. Opponent does have two blockers. So we're probably close to lethal. Opponent blocks are two largest. And then we should still have 20 going through. But I'll just do it once more just to be sure. Okay. Activate Bitter Union. And smash. And that'll do it. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hands got Ascendancy, good mana, couple cantrips, and a treasure cruise. So it's going to be pretty awkward against a hyper aggressive deck, but uh, I'll give it a try. And then maybe we'll slide of hand for now and grab a Spire Bluff. The instant speed consider can potentially be a way to trigger Ascendancy at instant speed, can maybe grow a creature in response to a burn spell. And there's Emery, okay. So we'll consider if I find Mox Amber, I can play Emery right now. Portable Hole doesn't quite do it. Don't think we care about Companion. Okay, play Land and Pass. So opponent on a white Devotion deck, it seems. Possible they have answers to enchantments as well. And nine lives, I see. Well, we don't care about nine lives since we can attack with nine tokens. But if they also have Solemnity, I guess uh, we're going to struggle. Although we do have Odawara, which can bounce their uh, enchantment potentially. So, yeah, we'll play Emery. Kept a backup since this one might get exiled. Mill the Mox Amber, okay. Tutor gonna try and find Solemnity. Okay. Nope, goes for Rest and Peace instead. Well, that can shut down our combo. So that's a bigger problem. So what to do now? I can get back a Mox Amber. That makes a mana. Untaps Emery with uh, Jeskai Ascendancy. Probably want a Treasure Cruise as well. And then hope to draw another Mox Amber to combo off. Okay, so cast okay, treasure cruise. I guess let's see here. Could activate Emery on portable hole, I guess. Come on, Mox Amber. 
I'll land. I guess with portable hull we could also exile the rest in peace, so that's another answer. So drawing a portable hull would do it too. For now, I guess I could just cast a portable hull, get rid of companion. Or we can keep digging since we have another redraw with consider. That seems more important. Found a Mox Amber, perfect, so now we're ready to combo off. Just looking for Bitter Union and Sahili. So play Mox Amber. And now we gotta speed up our play a little bit. Found a Bitter Union. Another Mox Amber. And there's Sahili, perfect. Play Sahili. Don't really need to keep digging. We'll create great things, you and I. Can make red mana now. And then we just need to make 9 tokens, basically. I guess we'll show them the Bitter Reunion so they know what's incoming. So they can piece it together here. And our opponent explodes, awesome. So yeah, beat our opponent through nine lives and uh, about to be a rest in peace as well. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with um, a hand that could use Emery, White Mana and Jeskai Ascendancy. So we're looking for quite a few things, but we do have lots of cantrips to help out. Yeah, I'll try it. And then start with a sleight of hand. Found the Ascendancy, probably more relevant than second Mox Amber, even though we could use it as well. And a Thought sees takes the Ascendancy, did find Emery at least, so we can play that already. Milled one Sahili, can still cast a Cantrip. And I guess we can make it consider. Another opt I don't need. White mana could be useful. And a backup Emery. So I can main phase opt in case we hit a, another spell we can cast. Like a Jeskai Ascendancy. So we're just a Mox Amber away potentially if this resolves. No Mox Amber in the graveyard, so... Next turn I can play another Emery just to mill a few more cards. Opponent with a Prankster. And I see there is Squirming Emergence combo deck. So not enough permanence to reanimate Portal yet. But enough for a Founding. Hopefully they can cast a free removal spell here. They're just gonna mill four. 
Okay. So, big top deck coming up. Sea Chrome Coast. So I can play Portable Hole just to um, trigger the Ascendancy. I guess we can use the one from the Graveyard as well. And then target the Founding, so they can necessarily cast another Squirming Emergence. Archaeologist could help. Probably don't need another Portable Hole. Okay, so I can play Emery, which mills four. And then just need to hit a Mox Amber, pretty much. If I play Archaeologist, I could also hit Treasure Cruise and cast it, so maybe that's actually better. Found Bitter Union, which I currently cannot cast. So I'm gonna just play another Emery here. And hope for the best. Keep the non-summoning sick Emery. Did not mill Mox Amber. Did also mill both Sahilis, so we'll have to get there with our creatures on the battlefield. Alright, that's rough. I'll keep land in hand to discard to the reunion, I think. So if our opponent has removal for Emery, our game plan kind of falls apart here. Prankster just casts, so our opponent's also not doing too much. Okay, let's reunion and hope for the best. Can I start with targeting Portable Hole. Found a Treasure Cruise, that's big. So cast Treasure Cruise. Plenty of cards we can exile. I'll keep the Spire since that's potentially also win condition. Still no Mox Amber. So I can play Emery once again. Mill four cards, but we can also play Portable Hole alongside Emery, so I think that's still going to be better. So I guess we can start there if we'd like. Another Treasure Cruise. So I can cast a Treasure Cruise and then hope to draw Mox Amber. Another Emery I'll keep. I guess um, I'll get rid of the Bitter Union now. No Mox Amber. Alright, just attack for 9, so the combo is eluding us. Bottoming that Mox Amber with a slide of hand earlier I guess didn't help. What can our opponent come up with? Invasion of Tolvada to reanimate the portal to Phyrexia. That's fine. We can still play one man Emery, give it haste. And then just attack with a large enough Emery, assuming we can find Mox Amber. And there we go. So activate Bitter Union. Opponent doesn't have any blockers. So we'll make this Emery large enough to attack for lethal. Awesome. And there we have it, our opponent knows what's incoming, and that's how you beat number 64 on the ladder. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, we've got a solid hand. Although we're up against a Yorion deck, so it could be control. So turn 2 we can play Emery, off a Mox Amber. And then turn 3 we could technically already combo off. Although chances of our opponent having a Lightning Helix here are pretty high. Still probably gonna go for it. So, 
play Moxamber. Would love for them to counter this. Wow, that actually worked. So now we can still play Emery. And we have a Moxamber in the graveyard. Didn't even get exiled by No More Lies. Although now Emery surviving is not going to be easy. Fable, okay. Opponent tapped out, so we should have it here. Play Ascendancy. Get back Mox Amber. And that's game, as long as we don't time out. So yeah, people not being familiar with the combo certainly helps us. Although it's possible they just didn't have any interaction. But the element of surprise cannot be underestimated when people are used to playing against the same five or six meta decks. If you bring something new, they may not know exactly what to play around. Already have Sahili, so just missing a reunion, and there we have it. So I'll play Sahili. Don't even need Treasure Cruise. A loop Mox Amber. Play the reunion. I'll stop uh, discarding and drawing with the Ascendancy since we have all the pieces we need. Should speed things up. Do still need one more mana to activate the Bitter Union, but now we can also stop making mana with Mox Amber. And our opponent knows what's incoming and scoops it up, so not too shabby. Turn 3 kill against a Just Sky Control. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a triple Mox Amber opener. So we desperately need to find Emery and then Just Sky Ascendancy. We've got one slide of hand to try and help us. This feels a little sketchy, even though our mana is okay. Take a mulligan. Alright, this is better. And then... I don't need to keep Sahili since we only need it as a finisher. In most games. Opponent on... Shelter, maybe a heroic deck. Okay, so I think the plan is going to be turned to Archaeologist. Try and dig towards our uh, Jeskai Ascendancy. Virtuosa is not what we wanted to see, since that can potentially present lethal very quickly. Now we could also dig for a uh, portable hole with a sleight of hand. And that might be necessary. Found the Ascendancy instead. Alright, so we'll keep up Consider. And we could be dead here. Homestead Courage for starters. Problem is it's going to take us at least two turns to assemble the combo since we first need to get Emery in play. Yeah, in two turns this Virtuoso is very likely killing us. So our best hope is to find a portable hole, and our opponent can't have any way to protect the Virtuoso. But given that they kept up two mana, that seems unlikely. Or they maybe have another one. Okay. Archaeologists can maybe get in the way. That's our best hope. Found to consider. And we're just gonna have to pass it back. Yeah, this hand's gonna be a little too slow. Five power double strike. Ancestral anger for trample. And that's uh, likely gonna be enough. 
So that hits for 14. Can soak up 3 damage. But if they have any instant, we're still dead. And our opponent goes for it. Don't have a 1 mana instant to punish them. So GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and double Sahili is not ideal to have in our opener. Gigantha could mean the heroic deck, could mean other things. Could also be Is it Phoenix, I guess. So, sleight of hand, Emery, no Mox Amber. Yeah, this hand's a little lackluster. This is better, although it's a one lander that enters tapped. I think I'll give it a shot since we have all the combo pieces we need. Question is, do I keep Archaeologist? Maybe I don't need it when we have double Emery and we already have the Ascendancy. Turn one island, so it looks like a Phoenix deck. Keep Steam Vents. there's an opt. So is it Phoenix is going to have ample answers to Emery, so having a backup is important. For now, Prankster. Okay, and a second Mox Amber, so we're just a white mana away from potentially comboing. Could technically play a second Mox Amber here, maybe that's worth it just to play Archaeologist. And find Treasure Cruise at this point, even though we will eventually need Bitter Union to combo kill. There's a second one in the deck. Opponent starts with a sleight of hand. Possible they're missing red mana for their burn spells. Consider. And did they get the red mana? They did not. Okay, so step one treasure cruise. And leaving Mox Amber in the graveyard. Everything else can go. And if we find white mana, we should be able to combo off. There we go, Hallowed Fountain. Play Ascendancy. Get back Mox Amber. And now we can make infinite blue mana, draw through the entire deck. So it's just a matter of finding Sahili and Bitter Union. And yeah, our opponent knows what we're capable of and scoops it up. So yeah, unfortunately, opponents got stuck on only blue mana. Definitely been there before playing the Phoenix deck. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and what do we think of this hand? Well, we've got all the combo pieces we need, just need to hit some land drops, and uh, I guess a second Mox Amber eventually. I'll try it. Gonna keep Mox Amber in hand for now. And then grab Opt, even though we may need a second Emery if the first one gets answered. Thoughtseize can have a look. Thoughtseize can be a reason to play Mox Amber, but if it's in the graveyard, Emery can get it back. And if we hold it, we can maybe trigger Sahili or Ascendancy. Sahili's gone, so we still have a second one in the deck. So that's not a huge concern. For now, I guess we'll uh, consider. Still nothing. All right, this is getting pretty awkward. Opponent on the Black Red Vampire deck. Alright, found our land. So I can play Emery and hope they don't have Sorin next turn to chuck the Zealots to take out Emery. And then uh, we could be off to the races. Yeah, that seems fine. And then we can still opt here as well. Mild another Mox Amber. So, yeah, next turn we could 
potentially combo off if we get this Ascendancy in play. We'll need to find another land. Harvester's fine, does not take out Emery. At least not yet. And the Thought Seize, uh, that's gonna take Jeskai Ascendancy. And we'll need to find another copy. Sleight of Hand we don't need. Found the land. And another Mox Amber. So we're just a Jeskai Ascendancy away from winning. I guess we'll start with Opt so we can still potentially cast it and go off. Although I guess with Archaeologist, if we play it, because we have another Mox Amber in hand and an Emery activation, I guess we're still good. And we found the Ascendancy. So, play Mox Amber, play Ascendancy, activate Emery, get back Mox Amber. And now we can make infinite mana and draw our entire deck basically until we find Sahili, make infinite tokens. So yeah, that's impressive after missing a land drop even. Treasure Cruise we could keep, just to get a few more cards in hand. And I guess I'll uh, cast it now. Get rid of stuff we don't care about. Artifacts we can maybe still return. Probably should have declined to draw and discard there since we were empty handed and if we happened to draw Sahili it would have gotten discarded, which is not the goal. And then now with Soaring City we could also bounce the creature to attack but we only have the one attacker so it wouldn't quite be enough. Could cast another treasure cruise here. So I guess we'll start there. Another ascendancy I don't really need. Twenty-four cards left, so still a few cards to go. Can play the archaeologist to dig a bit deeper. And then we're gonna need Bitter Reunion as well to uh, attack for lethal. But we first need to find Sahili, so the Mox Amber can actually make red mana. But yeah, as soon as we find Sahili, our opponent might scoop it up, as they know what's going to happen. Eighteen cards left. Probably don't need to make mana with Mox Amber anymore at this point. We can just uh, dig towards Sahili. There's another treasure cruise.
Still no Sahili. Another treasure cruise we can keep. Cast it. Well, there we go, at long last. I guess I used up all my mana here. So gotta do some more Mox Amber loops. like we timed out, that's unfortunate. Still have the setup to go for it next turn. But yeah, took us a little bit too long to find Sahili. We'll just get it next turn. Harvester takes out Emery, got a backup. Kalitas is not gonna matter. So Play Emery. Can give it haste with the Bitter Union. And start comboing again. But this time we've got multiple attackers, so it's not going to take too long. Sometimes if you're short on one mana, you can also use Sahili's ability to turn a token into a Mox Amber, just to give you one extra mana. That's definitely come up before. So we just make a lethal army of uh, servo tokens and then we can give them all haste with our second bitter union. So I think we're pretty much there. Activate and attack. So this is what we would have been able to do last turn if it weren't for Arena's limitations. All right, so we got to see our Jeskai Ascendancy combo in action, and I'm quite impressed of what the deck is capable of, even featuring a turn three kill, which is faster than most decks in Explore. So the deck is quite powerful, but of course it does have a few weaknesses, especially once opponents start to figure out what you're trying to set up. If you're playing this in best of three, you'll have to deal with graveyard hate, and of course plenty of removal for Emery, so it's good to have kind of a sideboard plan that maybe tries to win the game without needing Emery to survive, and of course Sahili is already part of that, making a bunch of 1-1 tokens, but it's possible we can uh, find some other sideboard plan that can be effective there as well. So yeah, all in all, a powerful deck. Maybe not the most arena-friendly deck to play, since you do need to do a lot of clicking, so you better practice your Mox Amber loops, but uh, certainly a powerful deck and a fun one if you like combo. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!